Hello, my name's Don D. Uh, I'm a user of uh, Serif Web Plus, and you'll find me on the Web Plus forum on the serif.com site. In this tutorial, I'm going to be uh, doing the button designer. I'm going to be using real estate template uh, for all my tutorials. On the left hand toolbar, where you see insert nav bar, click the small arrow next to it and you'll see some new buttons. Insert button, insert separator, insert panel. I'll be dealing with the bottom two at a later time. But we're going to insert a button into this site. Click that insert button and the edit button window dialog appears. Uh, there is a small pencil to the right of the button to take you, if you click it, takes you into the button editor. And around the button editor, editor you've got the, the main design window in the center and then you've got the studio to the right hand side with the with the colors, transparencies, lines and whatever else and the styles and at the bottom you see the button states normal, down, hover, disabled, menu right and menu below. To the right of that is the button size. Uh, the default size is 80 by 20. Now if we, a quick design is just to put a color to the background. If we double click the background state and then put a quick shape onto this with a color, you will see that it populates the whole, all the button states. And you can give it a style. We've got inner bevel. We click that and it gives it a little bit of something to make it look like a button. If you want, for instance, the down button to be a different color, double click that to open it up in the, in the, uh, in the window. Quick shape, put a quick shape over the top and you will see that it may look as if the, the text has been hidden, but once you let go of the button, the button at the text is always on top. I'll give that a different color and we click the inner bevel there to give it the same sort of design as the others. Now we come to the text. If you double click the normal state, click the text to highlight it you'll see the toolbar appear here. You've got color, font, all the format controls for doing the, the text, and also button on the right, change all text, which is selected by default. If we change the color, for instance, of the text to white, you will see that all the states but the text is changed to white. If we want for instance the down state text to be a different color, double click the down state, select the text, deselect change all text and then change the color of the text and you'll see that only that text is changed. You can format the text with the controls here as we've got this selected if we say left align the text just that text gets left aligned. Double click hover, select that text, 
and right align only that text gets right aligned and so on we'll take this back to central like so once you're happy with your design uh, I forgot to mention of course that you can put pictures into the design instead of quick shapes or as well as quick shapes once you're happy with your design you can commit to changes or if you're not happy at all with what you've done you can cancel out and come out completely so commit to changes which will take you back to the edit button now before I leave the edit button there are presets for buttons that you can use uh, instead of going into the design uh, studio if you click the button you have different types in a in a drop down list underneath there's quite a number but i'll leave that for another day once you're happy uh, with your design if you're going to use the button on its own you can change the text on the label you can give it a hyperlink by clicking edit and then choosing whichever hyperlink you like or you can use it as a form button but you can use this button as a nav bar you can change it to a nav bar which will I will show you in a second click OK left click on the page and with it highlighted if you do control one it'll center it and take you a little bit closer if you do control two it will take you a little bit closer still but we'll leave it on control one once we've clicked convert to navbar uh, the button will change to a navbar with all the buttons with the the names of the pages on them like so you will see that there's a, a green circle with an explanation mark on this is a warning to say that the bounding box of the navbar is not big enough to hold or to show all the buttons so if you click and drag like so until the button the, the, the green circle is gone then everything is okay if you double click home now you will see that the home button is the down state that we had set as red and if you click the others they will change as well well I hope I, this has given you an insight into the, uh, the nav button there is, there is more work to do with the with the nav bar but uh, I'm going to cover that in another tutorial okay thanks very much for looking in goodbye